you are wanting to be prayed. Hey, Shada, you are wanting to be prayed. Please put your hands together for Jesus and get seated in his presence. We shall rise up shortly to pray and we shall be saying, Father, thank you for massive salvation of souls in all our services and outreaches all through the year 2016, resulting in explosive church growth. Scripture says in 1 Corinthians 12, 3, and that no man can say that Jesus is Lord, but by the Holy Ghost. Shall we rise on our feet as we lift our voice to heaven in prayer? Saying, Father, we thank you for massive salvation of souls in all our services and outreaches 
all through the year 2016, resulting in explosive church growth. Lift your voice to heaven and give him thanks. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. No man can say Jesus is the Lord, but by the Holy Ghost, Father, we come this morning to say thank you for massive salvation of souls in all our services and outreaches all through the year 2016, resulting in explosive church growth. We are graceful, Lord. We are graceful, Lord. Let's God hear your voice of thanksgiving this morning. Father, we thank you for massive salvation of souls in all our services and outreaches all through the year 2016, resulting in explosive church growth. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. We bless your holy name. No man can say that Jesus is Lord, but by the Holy Ghost. All these souls we are saved by the Holy Ghost. That is why we have returned to say thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for massive salvation of souls in all our services and outreaches all through the year 2016, resulting in explosive church growth. In the name of Jesus, Mazeko Shada Pozata, Enkalipra, Mazekota, Ekopa Shazikete, Enkalampra Dabolaba. No single service without multitude coming to Jesus by the Holy Ghost. And so we thank you, Father, because no man can say Jesus is Lord, but by the Holy Ghost, you save them in all services, in all outreaches, all through the year 2016. And this resulted in explosive church growth. We have come this morning to appreciate you for this, to thank you for this. This is your doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Lift your voice and thank him. Let him hear your voice of appreciation. Malezuza, Enkapozakata, Enkapashazata, Malize, Ekopa, Maradada, Malezekete, Malezukata, Masekozakata. Father, we thank you for massive salvation of souls in all our services and outreaches all through the year 2016 resulting in explosive church growth. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we are graceful, our Father. We are graceful, our Father. Malezagata, Mashizekota, Enkaposa, Malibra, 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 Mazeko Shekuzakata. Our Father, we give you thanks for massive salvation of souls in all our services and outreaches all through the year 2016, resulting in explosive church growth. Give him thanks in the spirit, intensely. Masekosha, enkapozize, malampra, masekota, masekezekete, ekupalaba, malazuza, maredo, malaba, masekosha, ekupazakata, malezize, enkoparapozikata, masazukata, ekopalapuza, we have laid it to heart, our Father, to give you thanks for mercy, salvation of souls in all our Sunday services, in all the midweek services, every of our prophetic gathering. You save souls in all our outreaches. You save souls. We return the glory to you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Thank you, Father. Mazekosha and Kaposa. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. Please be seated. My case is different. We shall be rising up to pray and saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, anoint every winner for supernatural dimension of breakthroughs this year that will turn each one to a living wonder. Let's say loud, Amen. Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 1, all through to 3. Thus said the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand have I holding, to subdue nations before him. I will loose the loins of kings to open before him two leaf gates, and the gates shall not be shut. 
I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in thunder the bars of Azion. He said, I will give thee the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places. Let's rise up to our feet and let's raise our voices and pray passionately. Let's pray believing every word that we are saying. Father, in the name of Jesus, anoint every winner worldwide for supernatural dimension of breakthroughs this year that we turn each one to a living wonder among men in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we ask, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, that you anoint every winner for supernatural dimension of breakthroughs this year, 2017, that we turn each one to a living wonder among men in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you anoint every winner for supernatural dimension of breakthrough this year, that we turn each one to a living wonder in the mighty name of Jesus. Is someone praying? Pray passionately. Pray passionately. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you anoint every winner for supernatural dimension of breakthroughs that we turn each one to a living wonder among men in the mighty name of Jesus. Le manando dea ababara na mazugalia parade erigado sintalo akana parida arigado gazagalia katagana mo e peredo e peredo Father in the name of Jesus we ask that you anoint every winner for supernatural dimension of breakthroughs this year 2017 that we turn each one to a living wonder in the mighty name of Jesus, Ibala Prade, Origado Sintalo, Engagado Yateli Ebrede, Ebrede Gazua Galate, Embe de Curia da Sialata, A Papara da Balabarana Maza Dalia Dada, Iganaco Siegelepre, Ebereda Dosira. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are asking that you anoint every winner for supernatural dimension of breakthroughs in all areas of life this year that we turn each one to a living wonder among men in the mighty name of Jesus. He ganaso talia a parade a rigedege sugari agata embleke tu elepo a papa rada balapa a banade a rigadosa andra loti la tole a bara Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you anoint every winner supernaturally for supernatural dimension of breakthroughs that we turn each one to a living wonder among men in the mighty name of Jesus. He ganaso you have called this year our year of noiseless breakthroughs. Therefore, we are asking that you anoint every winner for supernatural dimension of breakthroughs that we turn each one to a living wonder among many in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's begin to power that prayer by praying in the spirit. Arigado Sintaliaga, a Gene Curida Dayata, a Gelepade, and Branado, a Rigado Sintalia Cayate, a Gene Crigado Sigalia Gede, a Benagoyata, a Gagagara da Basadia Latalia, and Brade. Let's appreciate him now. Let's give him all the glory. Father, we give you all the praise. We thank you. We honor you. We adore you. We bless your holy name, Lord. Thank you, everlasting Father. Blessed be the holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You may be comfortably seated. My case is different. In a moment, you're going to be upstanding to take the next prayer saying, Father, set a seal of protection over every winner and our families against all forms of attack this year. Amen. Ezekiel 9.6, the scripture says, Slay utterly hold and young both mates and little children and women, but come not near any man 
upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. That will be our testimony this year. Please rise with me. Let's raise our voices to the Lord as we begin to pray. Father, set a seal of protection over every winner and our families against all forms of attacks this year. Our Father, we have come this morning to pray that we set a seal of protection, a seal of protection over every winner, young and old, men and women, adults, every winner all across the globe and our families against all forms of attack this year. In the name that is above all names, Father, we have come this morning to pray that we set a seal of protection and come not near seal in the name of Jesus over every winner and our families this year against all forms of attack in the name of Jesus, spiritual attack, physical attack, psychological attack, financial attack, career attack, Jesus. We have come to pray that will set a seal of protection, a seal of protection, a seal of protection, a mark of come not near, a mark of come not near, a seal of protection over every winner and our families, wherever we are represented, Jesus, we have come this morning to pray for a seal of protection. Is somebody praying this morning? Are you engaging your heart? Pray confidently, boldly, expectantly, believing. Father, we have come this morning to pray in one accord that will set a seal of protection, a seal of protection over every winner and our families against all forms of attack this year. Every winner will become a come not near this year in the name of Jesus. Is somebody praying this morning? Lift up your voice to heaven. Let the Lord hear your voice. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. Father, set a seal of protection over every winner and our families against all forms of attack this year in the name of Jesus. No winner shall be attacked this year. Every winner shall be exempted because our case is different in the name of Jesus. A seal of protection, a seal of protection over the children, over the adults, over the youth, white and black, every winner and our families all across the globe. Father, a seal of protection, a seal of protection, a seal of protection. Let's pray in the Holy Ghost. Let's pray in the Holy Ghost. Let's pray in the Holy Ghost. Reposuza, le crando susetoria, reparu sacatori, recando susato, brando, racado legedo, se prendo, brado susato de gledo, ze kerukato, brando ria, le kendo, zusa, teddy, reprado. Give him thanks for answer. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Please be seated. My case is different. Shortly, we are rising up again to pray, saying, Father, by the Holy Ghost, empower my prayer and fasting life into next levels so I can continue to grow in power and command higher levels of spiritual authority this year. Taking a bearing from Ezekiel chapter 47, verses 1 to 5, paraphrase, the scripture says, Afterwards, he brought me again into the door of the house, and behold, what has issued from under the threshold. 
water to the knees, water to the ankles, water to the loins, and then it became a river that could not be passed over. Please let's rise up on our feet and let's pray this prayer with all fervency. Father, by the Holy Ghost, empower my prayer and fasting life into next levels so I can continue to grow in power and command higher levels of spiritual authority this year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, by the Holy Ghost, empower my prayer and fasting life into next levels so I can continue to grow in power and command higher levels of spiritual authority this year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, by the Holy Ghost, empower my prayer and fasting life into next levels so I can continue to grow in power and command higher levels of spiritual authority this year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our God and our King, we pray this morning by the empowerment of the Holy Ghost, empower my prayer and fasting life into next levels so I can continue to grow in power and command higher levels of spiritual authority this year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Remember you are praying for yourself. No one can pray for you like you. Pray with all fervency. Oh, almighty God, by the Holy Ghost, empower my prayer and fasting life into next level so I can continue to grow in power and command higher levels of spiritual authority this year 2017 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Holy Ghost Holy Ghost empower my prayer and fasting life in the name of Jesus Christ so I can grow in power and command higher levels of spiritual authority this year in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, by the Holy Ghost, empower my prayer and fasting life into next levels so I can continue to grow in power and command higher levels of spiritual authority this year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I must change level this year. Lord, I must change level this year. Lord, I must change level this year. Pray with all fervency. Pray with all of your heart. Almighty God, by the Holy Ghost, empower my prayer and fasting life into next levels so I can continue to grow in power and command higher levels of spiritual authority this year in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Almighty God, by the Holy Ghost, empower my prayer and fasting life into next levels so I can continue to grow in power and command higher levels of spiritual authority this year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, by the Holy Ghost, empower my prayer life and fasting life into next levels so I can continue to grow in power and command higher levels of spiritual authority this year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, we give you praise. Give him thanks this morning. It's a prayer hands to God. In Jesus' great name, we have prayed. Please, you may be seated. My case is different. Next, we shall be rising up to pray, saying, Father, let there be massive in gathering of multitudes into tonight's midweek communion service and grant every participant an encounter with your word and the communion table for their desire turn around. Shout aloud, Amen. Amen. 
In Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 8, God's word says here very clearly, the Lord sent a word into Jacob and it alighted upon Israel. The word that God will send into you today in this service will change the course of events in your generation. Please rise up on your feet. Lift up your voice to the Lord and let's begin to pray fervently. Pray from the depth of your heart. Let your heart be in what you are saying. Remember, no silent prayer. Let heaven hear you right now. Remember that this prayer is also for yourself. As you pray for every participant. No silent prayer. Lift up your voice and pray fervently. Father, let there be massive in gathering of multitudes into tonight's midweek communion service. And Lord, as your people come, grant every participant an encounter with your word and the communion table for their desire turned around. Father, as we gather tonight, bring multitudes from every nook and corner into all of our zona centers for the communion table tonight. And Father, as your people come, let no one return the same way. Grant an undeniable encounter to every participant, an encounter with your word, an encounter with the communion table. For you have said, you have not asked the sons of Jacob to seek you in vain. Let none that shall be present tonight in this communion service return the same way. Let none return the same way. Let none return the same way. Father, we are praying and we are asking you, let there be massive in gathering of multitudes, male and female, multitudes young and old. Father, into tonight's communion service, Father, in all of the zona centers, and Lord, as your people gather, grant each participant an encounter with your word, an encounter with your word, an encounter with your word, and the communion table for their desire to turn around. Make sure you are praying. Don't keep silent. No silent prayer. And pray some more. Pray fervently. Let your heart be in what you are saying. Remember, this is the prayer that God must answer today. Oh, Lord God, Father, let there be massive in gathering of multitudes, male, female, young, and old. Lord, let there be massive in gathering of multitudes into tonight's midweek communion service in all of the centers. And Lord, grant every participant, young and old, male and female, an undeniable encounter with your word and on the noble encounter with the communion table, Father, for their desire turn around. Wherever they desire to turn around, Father, establish it for them today by the mystery of the communion table and by the release of your word for their change of story. Lord, you have said you have not asked the sons of Jacob to seek you in vain. Lord, let no one return the same way tonight from this communion service. Now lift up your voice and receive help on the altar of prayer. As you begin to pray in the Holy Ghost, pray fervently. Few moments left. Mekato ragadia, emako sadia, gagalabaro bako sata, amula gotara, gagolaba, ebro mako shada. If somebody say pray, pray some more, pray fervently, let your heart be what you are saying. Mekaso dalia, araba balogata, aromakodia. Aro makotata yegede brobakosa elagatara emokatopa ragadala eromagola kosaria la okatoria the communion table is a table of turn around emakoshedia mamola kata rebakolia bam granda turn around mekoshadia that is desired by every participant tonight as we gather meroka sodia begin to thank God right now for answered prayers lift up your hands to the Lord wave it to Him and give Him glory and praise. Father, we thank you. It is done. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Shout it louder. Amen. Amen. You may please be seated. My case is different. In this service this morning, it is testimony time. Please listen to the following documented testimonies and be blessed. Number one, rescued from destruction, via the prophetic word at Shiloh. I have come to return all glory to God of Shiloh for his hand in my life. 
I have been sick for the past four months, went to several hospitals, and was diagnosed with high blood pressure, pancreas blockage, and cancer of the pancreas. My eyes became yellowish, body itching, loss of weight from 112 kg to 90 kg. I could hardly stand or walk. The doctors even complicated issues. They gave me drugs that brought the high blood pressure to low blood pressure of 90 slash 60 and suggested for a surgery. It was then I understood that my healing is from God. I kept serving him and also winning souls for God. Then I came to Shiloh 2016 with a heart full of expectation. I have never attended Shiloh like this before. I was fully on ground and God indeed showed up. I attended the healing and deliverance classes on Wednesday and on Wednesday night, Papa called for those with death sentence ailment. I stood up and on Thursday night, Papa said, we should shake the devil out. And I did with all my strength and my faith so strong. And then God showed up that night. And from that night till date, brethren, no symptom again. <laughs> Amen. The yellowish eyes, body itching and weakness, all gone. I can stand and walk, and I have resumed my walk. To God alone be all the glory. The testifier is Benedict O. Eyoma. Let's put our hands together for Jesus once more. Number two, wonder double job. At the 2015 crossover night, my prayer and heart cry to God was for a change in my job. I keyed into every prophetic instruction from this exalted altar and engaged fully in all Operation Wonder Double and all of a sudden, God stepped into my case. A friend of mine called me that there is an opening in his organization and that I should send my CV. I did and was called for a test and series of interviews. Out of so many applicants, God singled me out and I was given my employment letter in the month of November 2016 when I had almost lost hope for the year. My current salary is almost three times my former job. To God be all the glory. Make it bigger for Jesus. Hallelujah. I praise the God of Wonder Double for stepping, that stepped into my case. The testifier is Adebayo. Peter, oh, shall we rise upon our feet and lift our hands in thanksgiving, returning all the glory to God, who alone has done all this. Father, we thank you. Shall we give him thanks indeed for answered prayers this morning. If you believe he answered you while you prayed, give him thanks also give him thanks for those testimonies that you just heard. They are pointers to your own heritage, pointers to my own heritage. Let's give him thanks and praise. There is none like him. And Jesus, precious name we have given thanks. Amen. Shall we lift up our two hands to heaven and ask him specifically, Jesus, speak to me this morning. Luke 21 and verse 38, another people came to him early in the morning in the temple for to hear him. Jesus, speak to me this morning. Speak to me directly. Speak to me in person. Let your word open new chapters to my life. And thank you, Jesus, for this. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. And so shall it be. Amen. My case is different. Are you sure what you are saying? Because I am redeemed of the Lord, and as a covenant child 
what affects others is not permitted to affect me. Why are we saying this? Life and death are in the power of the tongue. Whatever your mouth cannot say, your eyes cannot see. So say it with confidence, don't mutter it, don't murmur it. Just say it like somebody who must see it. Now let's go. My case is different. Congratulations. Now I'd like you to make that your early morning wake up call. Because I'm a covenant child, because I'm redeemed of the Lord, and as a covenant child, what affects others is not permitted to affect me, not only this year, all the days of my life. That will be your testimony. You see, it depends on where you stand. Where you stand today is what becomes of you tomorrow. Where you stand today is what becomes of you tomorrow. So, be sober, be vigilant, be ready, and watch how God keeps adding color to your life. Your life will never lose color again. Yeah. Give the Lord a big hand of praise, and please, you may be seated. Prayer does not only change things, prayer changes people. Therefore, expect visible changes in your own life through this forthcoming 21 day of prayer, fast prayer and fast. Expect it. Moses returned from the mountain and they couldn't behold his face. His time with God for 40 days had changed his status forever. This is very important. It's great to get things from God, but it's far greater to gain command over things. What prayer and fasting does is to confer dominion into next levels upon those who are engaging in it. And who know that that is the purpose? The core mission of fasting is to empower the individuals into next levels. It's great to be healed, but it's greater to gain command over your body. To gain command over sickness and disease. You'll be looking for those scriptures forever, but when once you gain command over it, and you value the command you gain, and you feed in that command with word for increasing strength, and you are true. I was on a three day of prayer and fasting and uh, I ended gaining supernatural, unstoppable, irresistible command over finances. And I declared that prophetic verdict, yea, I can never be poor. We were in the first and I was leading the team when we gain command over stagnation in church growth. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I mean, it was, stand up, follow me. You have all kinds of encounters in fasting and prayers. <laughs> and I followed him that 
awesome date of 24th of March, 1984. And then he unleashed to me the four keys to continuous and unending growth of the church. It was in the first and it was on the third day. There are seven three days in these 21 days. So we're entitled to minimum seven kinds of encounters. We were in the first 1983 and the Lord delivered a verdict of rest in ministry to me. You have two eyes. I said, yes, Lord. Can you make one to look down and one to look down? One to look up and one to look down. It didn't work. So anytime you are looking onto man, never claim to be looking onto me. But if you fix your eyes on me, you will never be ashamed. <laughs> 6th of September, 1983. There are certain encounters. You don't need to write them down. They are engraved in your heart. If you don't have no encounter in these 21 days of prayer and fasting, you are to blame. You are to blame. Not the devil. So, let's come awake and not play religion. Let's come real awake and step into new dimension of anointings. Commanding new levels of spiritual authority. Yay! I can never be sick. 1979. Pfft. Don't talk like that. Okay, I've been talking like that since am I now sick? You will have definite encounters that will change your life forever. Yeah. By his grace, I secured dominion over this body, July 79. In this 2017, 21 days of prayer and fasting, your level must change. As you crave for empowerment, into next levels. It's one thing to get things from God, it's another thing to gain command over things. We saw a man here, prayer does not only change things, prayer changes people by name Moses. A man mighty in prayers and strong in fasting. At least we have clear records here of 40 days of fast twice. Exodus 28 and verse, ex Exodus 24 and verse 18. It was before the Lord 40 days and 40 nights. And Moses went into the midst of the cloud and got him up into the mount. And Moses was in the mount 40 days and 40 night. Now, Exodus 34 and verse 28. We saw Moses again got into God's presence. Exodus 34 and verse 28. And he was there with the Lord 40 days and 40 nights and he did neither eat bread nor drink water. He wrote upon the tables the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. When he descended, they could not look at him. For his face glistered. The time in God's presence has changed him. It was a literal transfiguration like Jesus had in Luke chapter 9. Remember I said, the prophet shall the Lord your God send to me, to you like unto me. Him shall ye hear, know that he, shall, he will say to you. Prayer does not only change things, prayer changes people. Now, Exodus chapter 30, I mean, Deuteronomy 34 and verse 7 talks about how changed this man was, his physical body. The Bible says, Deuteronomy 34 and verse 7, and Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eye was not dim, 
nor his natural force abated. Verse 10 of the same chapter, he said, And there arose not a prophet since in Israel like unto Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. He went on in 11. Um, in all the signs and wonders which the Lord sent him to do in the land of Egypt, to Pharaoh and to all his servants and to all his land. Verse 12. And in all that mighty hand and in all that great terror which Moses showed in the sight of all Israel. You know the reason why no other prophet paid that price at that time. Stop wishing for change. Walk at the changes you desire. Stop wishing for change. Walk at the changes you desire. The fourth comment 21 days of prayer and fasting is an opportunity for you to enforce your desired changes by craving for empowerment into next levels. You don't wish empowerment, you crave empowerment. Oh Lord my God, only will I seek thee. My soul tasted for thee, Psalm 63 verse 1 to 3, and my flesh longed for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. For what? To see thy power and thy glory. So to see his power and his glory, there must be a panting of the soul and a longing of the flesh. Longing of the flesh simply means fasting. Panting of the soul simply means craving. Desperation. It, this must be, this must happen. I believe this is your hour of opportunity to set divine order to your life. To set divine order to your life. So we are having a mock fast today. And the real fast begins on Monday. So enjoy it today as you set the stage for your life. A crave for change of level. A crave for a change of level. Enough is enough. One day I went out on the mountain in 1977 and what was it? I just was fascinated for, I mean, uh, with the drama of the Valley of Dry Bones. And I say, hey, <laughs> what an awesome thing to just stand watching and things start happening. I love this. Jesus, show me the secret behind the book of Ezekiel. And this man called Ezekiel. So I went in search of who is this Ezekiel? Where is he coming from? What empowered this dimension of manifestation? I was starting from chapter one and reading and start searching and praying and searching and praying. On the mountain, I had only touch light for reading in the night. There was no shelter anywhere, so the dew will come, the sun will come, it's all the same. But I returned with an empowered tongue. Behold, I've touched your tongue with the coal of fire. And from henceforth, as you say it, you see it. You must return with something. Amen. Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit after 40 days. You must return with something. And what he returned with showed immediately. You are returning with what must show. Before the first quarter is over, order has been reset into your life. I mean divine order reset into your life. 
you will not need to struggle again with issues. You just be on top of them. Amen. Can I hear your loudness, amen? amen. Now, there are many people here that walk in the realm of Moses after these 21 days. Amen. There shall be no diminishing returns on your energy. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. You are moving into next levels. Amen. As you crave for it. Let me therefore conclude by saying prayer and fasting is primarily ordained for the empowerment of the saints. This kind great not about by prayer and by fasting. Is this not the fast that I have chosen? That you break every yoke and that simply means that you assess new realms of anointing because the yoke shall be destroyed because of what? The anointing. And when Jesus returned, you know what? That demon said, have you come to destroy us before the time? Luke chapter 4 and verse 35 and verse 32 to 34. Have you come to destroy us before the time? So the things that were challenging your life will begin to fear you on your return. How many will say loud amen to that? Religion can be so frustrating but to be spiritually minded it's life and peace. Religion is a show. Just let's show to God that we like him. Or we love him. Whichever. And appear to men as serving God. But spirituality is all about seeking sustainable connectivity to God. And to what pleases him. Somebody's going places. Remember, no one can be empowered on your behalf. Go to them that sell and buy for yourself. You need oil in your lamp. The oil in my lamp cannot lamp your light. Your lamp cannot light your lamp. The fuel in the car of a husband cannot power the car of the wife. So, are you interested in empowerment to next levels? Go there and buy with a crave and with a longing of your flesh. Otherwise, you may discover there's no more oil in the lamp. You won't miss it. Christianity is all about taking covenant responsibilities. Taking what? Go to them that say, some fellows got five quantum leaves, 2016. Some got six. Some don't get none. Go to them that sell and buy for yourselves. Stand to your feet. Matthew 25 and verse 9. Give us oil. No, no, no. Let it be sufficient for both of us. You go to them that sell and buy for yourselves. Verse 9, go to them that say, um, buy for yourself. I am all out to buy my way into next levels of anointing. Next levels of empowerment. Lift up your two hands and then, come on now, declare your determination. Declare your desperation. Go to them that sell and um, buy for yourself. Go to them that say, and buy for yourself. Every season of prayer and fasting adventure is to create the future you desire. Go to them that say, and buy for yourself. Rabeko taselo krektia, yeshia gara dakaru dabe, ge kakato ta prekteneri alusazeza. Come and declare your position. Declare your stand. 
I must not return empty from this forthcoming 21 days of prayer and fasting. I refuse to return empty. It must impart on my life visibly, tangibly, openly. It must impart on my family, impart on my children, impart on all that dwell under my roof. Rete sigarada sule proctanarada. Zezurada braktanara du zezul le proctanerodia. Wababa baba 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 koti ke de ketoria. Yiskarada praktanara du zeze. I am going to buy my way into next levels of empowerment, next levels of spiritual authority, and buy my way into next levels of empowerment, and next levels of spiritual authority, and buy my way into next levels of empowerment, and next levels of spiritual authority. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Well, it's important for us to set our goals right before Monday begins. We are sharing the expectation cards on Sunday, but you better start defining your expectation right away. And I want to ask you to make empowerment your core desire. That will put you on top of issues, instead of begging issues. I'm begging, begging God. Whosoever you beg is not what matters. The act of begging is what makes you a beggar. You are not redeemed to beg. No. I've been young now, I've never seen the righteous forsaken or see begging bread. You are not redeemed to beg. Encounters are real. Otherwise, I will be dead. Yeah, I can never be sick. 79. Yeah, I can never be poor. 82. Encounters are real. Encounters are real. You must have plenty this time. Say with me, I'm entitled to minimum seven encounters. Once every three days of the fast. So help me, Jesus, to stay diligent, stay disciplined, stay sensitive, not to miss my portion. Because after two days, he will revive us. On the third day, he will raise us up. Come on now, that's the war. Third day, will raise us up. Can I take and say, I've never asked anything from the Lord for three days without a response. So, your voice shall be heard on high. Yeah. Your voices shall be heard on high. Yeah. And it will respond to everyone whose voice is heard. Yeah. And that includes you. Yeah. Lift up those two hands and give him thanks for the word this morning. If you have been blessed, give him thanks for it. Thank you, Jehovah. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name. Well, the midweek service tonight is 6 p.m. And I want to remind all of our uh, leaders, WSF ministers, secretaries, and uh, assistant WSF minister, and all pastors, all ordained workers of our special um, leadership empowerment summit that comes up on Saturday. The time is 7 o'clock. Uh, you all got your texts already. So get prepared for it and make your way to be there. It's very important. That's our annual impartation session. To get you and me said for what the year holds. And then to unveil to us what the vision for 2017 is for the church. And that's happening in our churches worldwide. So please ensure you are there and you are there with your heart. And then you'll be empowered to have a most fruitful adventure in the year 2017. 2017 in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody excited this morning? Amen. Go in peace. Amen. That day is declared your day. Amen. Today is declared day of testimonies for you. Amen. Throughout this year, no mishap in your family. Amen. No one gathers in your home to mourn. Amen. There shall be no weeping or crying. Amen. But testimony is all the way. Yeah. Now together let's share the goodness of the Lord and fellowship. Sure. God's goodness and mercy shall follow. All the days of our lives. And we shall do in praise of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Peace. Now my case is different.
congratulations. Help congratulate your neighbor to your right and to your left. Have the best of the day today.